What does that even mean, Bowers Game Cornar? Oh, hi there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game preview, another special Kickstarter preview. Today, I'm very excited to check out Honey Wars from Gold Seal Games for two to four players. Age is 12 plus, so it'll take you about 60 to 90 minutes to play. And in Honey Wars, you're going to have control of a beehive. You're going to be trying to expand your empire and try and get three beehives and 12 pieces of honey, but it will not be that easy because other people will be attacking your beehives with all sorts of bee related things. You're going to be chucking dice, playing as bees, trying to accumulate honey. Let's open it up and I'll show you how it works. Alright then, we're going to take a look and we'll put you inside of Honey Wars. Before we get started, I do want to mention this is the promotional copy I have in front of me, so take everything you see here with a grain of salt. First and foremost, we have our handy dandy rule book. It's about 9, 10 pages, double sided, full color, full of pictures, illustrations, examples. Very well done rule book. I'll have you up and running in no time at all. It's a very simple game. You're actually only going to be doing really four phases each turn, so we'll go over that. We'll go over the components and we'll show you how the game is played. So, in Honey Wars, you are going to start off with a small hive, and your goal is to try and get three hives out in front of you, and also to accumulate 12 honey, which are going to be these cubes right here. These will uh, count as victory points at the end of the game, but they also will be used as currency to purchase cards that you will have in your hand in this deck of cards right here. So we'll go through some of these cards you get right here. So right here we got another small hive, because as I mentioned, in order to win the game, you're going to need three hives out, but if you want to purchase that, it's going to cost you eight pieces of honey, so that's a good amount of honey. Uh, this is a large hive. It's going to cost you 12, but it's also going to give you a larger honey bonus, so you'll be accumulating more money each turn. Stone Brood. These are cards you're going to see a lot, because you're going to be able to attack other people's uh, uh, other people's hives. So for instance, if you want to play this on someone else's hive, it's going to cost you zero to play on it. So it's a great one to play. And if they do not roll higher than a three, a three or higher, they're going to lose one honey. So this isn't that bad of a take that card, but you'll, as you'll see, there's some ones that are really super mean. Uh, next we have a robber bee. He's only going to cost two to play on somebody, but someone has to roll a six or higher in order to get rid of him. For each hive you have, give two honey to the person who played this card. So this one's actually going to steal honey for you. So you want to make sure you play that on someone who has a good deal of honey. Uh, let's see if we can, there we go, there's a good one. Next we got American Foul Brood. And this one you might notice has a little uh, infinity symbol right there. So this one is going to cost five to play on top of someone's hive, and they're going to have to roll a six or higher to get rid of this card. Uh, the, if they do not roll a six or higher, they're going to skip their spend action, which is really unfortunate because they won't be able to purchase anything. Also, this stays there until someone gets rid of it, so you have to roll higher than a six to get rid of this. But there's tons and tons of different uh, different attack cards in here, so let's show you a nice card, which are going to be your beekeeper buddies. You'll be able to play these on some of your hives. So this one, discard a card attacking your hive, and honey equal to its cost. So this one is essentially going to be, be like, yeah, you can get out of here, but you're going to have to pay some money to get rid of them. But if you have to roll a high number like the one we showed you before, it's not necessarily a bad deal. So those are the three main kinds of cards you're going to have. You're going to have attack cards, you're going to have uh, beekeeper helper cards, and then you're going to have hive cards. When you first start out the game, you're going to get four cards, and you're also going to start off with three honey. And then you're going to go through the four steps through the turn. The first step, turn, or the first step you're going to do is the defend action. How the defend action is, if something is attacking your hive, so let's say this is attacking your hive, the beginning of your turn, you are going to try and roll to successfully defeat it. So right here, I have a robber bee, so I'd say, all right, I'm going to defend my hive, roll the die, and I roll a three, which stinks. So since this is not having an infinity symbol here, this would go away for the time being, but I do have to deal with the bottom of this card, which says for each hive you have, give two honey to the person who played this card. So that person would get two of my honey, but we're not going to follow through on that because I might need this honey to purchase something because next we have what is called the harvest phase. And how that works is each time during the harvest phase, you're going to gain to honey. Now, uh, if you go through the entire deck of cards, you'll gain three honey and then four honey for however many times you go through the deck of cards. That's never happened when we've played uh, at least a two or three player game. Four player game, it got close to happening, but it still didn't happen. So you're going to gain two plus whatever your honey bonuses are. So for instance, on this card, we have a one honey bonus, so we would gain three honey this turn. If we had another small hive down here, we would gain four honey. So the more hives you have, the more money you're going to make. So now I have six bucks right here, which is where I can now go to the next phase, which is the spend phase. And that's, as you guessed, is where I'm going to look at my hand and see if I want to spend my money to purchase any of my cards. 
So I can't afford this small hive yet. It's going to cost eight, but that's a good card to have. I can't afford this large hive. That's going to cost 12. But that's a really great card to have because if I can get that played early, I can potentially make a good chunk of change. Uh, I have this American Foul Brood, which I can play on someone because I have five. If I wanted to be a little bit of a jerk, uh, it's going to cost me five to play, and they would have to skip their spend action if they can't get rid of it. And then I have the Barrow Mites, which are going to cost eight, and they have to skip their harvest action. That's a really bad one. That means they're not going to be making any honey, not getting any money, and they have to roll a seven or higher. So that's a really, really mean card right there. But unfortunately, I can't really afford anything that I want to spend right now, so I'll move on to the last phase, which is the draw card phase. So your minimum, or your, uh, your minimum hand size is four. So at the beginning of this phase, you're going to have to make sure you have at least four cards. If you do have four cards, then you have the option to discard one of your cards and draw a new card if you'd like to do that. Uh, I so You know what? I'll get rid of this small hive right here, and I will draw up a new card. And that would be the end of my turn, and it would uh, go to the next player. But when it gets back around to me, I would see, is there anything up here that's attacking me? No. Well, then I can move on to the next phase, the harvest phase. So I would gain my three bucks, and now I would have nine bucks. Um, and you know what? Actually, we're going to pretend like we got rid of the small hive instead. So then I would play this small hive in front of me. I would have play down. I would have eight bucks that I would have to spend. And now I would have two hives that people could attack. Because what happens is you can only attack a hive with one bee at a time. And when you're rolling for defense, you have to do it individually. So I'm going to do this one first. Roll the die. I'm going to do this one next roll the die, and wow, those were both really incredible rolls because I would get rid of both of these. But anyway, you're going to rinse, wash, and repeat until someone has three hives and 12 pieces of honey, at which point they will be the winner of Honey Wars, and that in a nutshell is how the game is played. Alrighty then, Honey Wars from Gold Seal Games coming to a Kickstarter you very, very soon. I'll be sure to post the Kickstarter link down below. Who might be digging this game? First and foremost, if you're in the market for a family game, this one will definitely fit that bill. It's easy to play, easy to learn. Uh, it does not have too many rules. It's a very straightforward game, which is always a good thing for family games. Also, if you like a little bit of Take That in your games, this one might definitely be up your alley. There's a good deal of Take That. You'll be playing cards on other people's beehives, trying to sabotage it, rolling dice to hopefully avoid those sabotages. And, and a lot of the cards have very unique different things that they're going to do when they sabotage other people. So you'll be like, when do I want to play this because it's going to take away their honey or something like that. And you don't want to do that unless they have a good deal of honey. Last but not least, if you are in the market for a game that is about bees, and if you like the topic of bees in nature, this one definitely might fit the bill because everything in this game is thematically correct. There's a lot of things that bees actually have to deal with and honeycombs or honey uh, nests that actually have to deal with that's in the game and it comes across pretty well. So you'll find yourself looking at the cards and be like, oh yeah, that would be something that I would actually have to worry about and that and that. And that comes across really well and helps with the theme in the game. So that is Honey Wars from Gold Seal Games. It looks like it might be your cup of tea. Be sure to click on the Kickstarter link down below. Tell them Byron's Game Corner sent you. In the comments below, let me know have you ever been stung by a bee? I almost got stung by a bee. It was in my shoe, and I put it on my shoe, and I wasn't expecting it. Man, it really hurt. But have you ever been stung by a bee? And if so, where and when? And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.